Hi, this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters and Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters located here in East Central Florida on the Mosquito Lagoon, Indian River, and Banana River, just east of Orlando and Disney and Kissimmee near New Smyrna Beach, New Smyrna Beach Cocoa Beach, Titusville, and Daytona. Today, what we're going to do is I'm going to do a quick tutorial, uh, some troubleshooting of your trim and tilt. Um, the other day on a charter, my uh, t uh, trim and tilt started acting up. I went to stop to go push a flat, and uh, as I was raising the engine up, it stopped about halfway and just sounded like it was like rrr, 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 just kind of dying out there, right? Um, raised it up, uh, pulled the flat for about an hour. When I climbed down to lower it, it didn't want to lower. So I was thinking, well, shoot, you know, you can always down here. Right down here, there's a um, like a little uh, uh, screw hole or, or a, a flathead, and you can put your screwdriver in there and manually release the pressure to lower it, almost like on your floor jack. When you raise your jack up, then you twist the handle in there, and the jack lowers. Um, so in an emergency situation, you can see there's like a little emblem right there that looks like the engine's tilted. You could always do that to get it back down if you absolutely had to. Um, so when I got home, I did some, uh, you know, I did some research and all this kind of stuff, just like what I do in a lot of these videos, you know, I, did, I really didn't want to take it in somewhere, especially if I thought it was an easy fix. Um, the, the relay, this is the Yamaha relay right here, it was making a clicking sound. So come to find out, uh, the blue right here is for, makes it go up, and then there's a green wire that makes it go down. Just think of blue sky, green grass. Um, from what I was understanding, you can take off this blue wire, take off the green wire. You can't test this with it on the relay. Take the blue wire, positive it out on a, on a battery. Say, say this is a battery right here. Uh, positive out, ground out the engine block somewhere. In other words, run a cable or something to you know somewhere on your engine and ground it out and and that will narrow down if it's the relay or the the motor the trim tilt motor itself if you start to do it that way and you hook up the blue to positive ground it out and the engine doesn't raise and that pretty much will tell you it's probably your trim tilt motor down there um, the trim tilt down here um, but what if when you hook up the green wire, if it doesn't lower down, then that's the, you know, it could be the bushings right here or something. So when I, I didn't have to do that, I didn't get to that point, um, from what I understand. Um, then if it did work, if the trim tilt did work when you disconnected these right here, then that would tell you it's probably the relay. Well, after doing some research and, and, and doing some uh, online searching and whatnot and talking to a few people, they were telling me as it was raising up, if you've got this diagnostic problem, and as it gets almost all the way up to the top, and it right about there it just started sounding like, all right, it was dying, then it would be up there stuck position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower this camera here. And I was told that it was just low, um, or I wasn't told, I figured out that it's low on fluid. So basically, get the camera set up here. Let's see if I can just lower this a little bit more here. Sorry, I'm trying not to do this with editing. I'm just going to try to do this in one shot here. Make it easier for everybody so when they see this. Okay, so basically what was going on was you have your reservoir full right here right this is an 18 millimeter uh, uh, socket or wrench um, so as it goes all the way up you start to run out of fluid and it's causing it to drag some so now here's the tricky thing um, how to fill it up and what to do so what I figured out was you know I got the Yamaha trim tilt fluid and you know obviously this is at an angle because it's on a jack plate you know it's tilted in so in order to fill it it keeps flowing over and there's no way to get a funnel down there so a brilliant idea that I thought of was to take a hand soap bottle that's empty or empty it out and pull your trim tilt fluid in there and the way you want to test this or, or to fill it is you take the nut off, put you something on the floor to grab all the fluid that's that's spilling out. Take the nut out, fill this up with as much as you can. Lower the engine, right? Now, I already did this yesterday, so I'm not going to do it because I didn't want to make a mess around the camera and all that. So you lower the engine, right? And when it's down as far as you can go without hurting yourself, don't pinch your finger. 
as the engine is raising, you just start pumping it in there, right? Make sure that your cowling doesn't hit the, the pulling platform. Just keep pumping it in there. And when it gets to the top, let it set a minute. Lower it back down. Keep pumping it in there. When it gets back down, let it set for a second. Raise it back up and keep pumping it in there, pumping it in there. And what that's doing is that's sucking all the places that are void of fluid. It's filling all that up. But I found that this little handheld soap bottle fits in that little nozzle just perfectly. And it's able to just squirt it in there almost perfectly. You can go and buy a little oil can, you know, that you can squirt that stuff into. But shoot, I mean, we all have these hand soap dispensers laying around. So it works perfectly. Then when it runs out, just pour some more trim tilt in there. And the nice thing about these also is when you're done with it, you can just throw it away if you don't want to keep it. Because, you know, you'll get one once a month anyhow. So anyhow, after I did that, it resolved my problem. Um, now, let's say that you have the same thing that I was just talking about. And let's say it's in the stuck position. You can't get it back down. What you can do is, if you hear the relay clicking and you think it's out of fluid, but you need to get it back down or up to get that nut off, that 18 millimeter nut off to fill it up, you can tap right here on the top of the motor, sometimes the bushing stick, and it should get it going again. So now the question is, with it low on fluid, probably over the years, it's got a slow leak somehow, and eventually the trim tilt will have to be replaced. Um, I'm probably going to get an aftermarket, uh, you know, unless I can get a good deal on a Yamaha one because they're pretty pricey, you know, so depending on what you're looking at, the aftermarkets are three, four hundred dollars from what I've seen online. A true Yamaha one's eight, nine thousand dollars, just depends on the size of your engine. But as you can tell, my engine's working fine now. Um, you know, didn't have to take it to a mechanic, it's an easy fix. I had the $8 bottle of trim tilt fluid around, and there you go. So, this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters and Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters, and I want everybody to have a great day. Thank you.